Uh, uh, uh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Right now, you guys, um, I'm trying to pull a, a interview together with um, uh, an author by the name of uh, Elijah. Is it Hawkson? Oh, okay. Well, we're just going to wait before we make that announcement. Um, but I want to kind of speak to the parents like today because, you know, people ask me, you know, what is my expertise sometimes? And I'm like, look, I, I, my expertise at this point is what I know to be true. And um, whether it works for you or whether it does not at, at whatever stage you're at, you know, either you keep living or maybe it just don't work for you. You know, um, I was examining along with a few other parents the, uh, you know, principles of natural and logical consequences. And I want to revisit that again today. OK, because a lot of people don't know the difference. And so just like I was doing that conversation um, and having that talk, and I'm realizing that a lot of us don't know the difference. I think it's time for me to revisit that again, because I believe it to be true. Reward and punishment is a component that I use for my dogs. It works very well. Sometimes I use treats. Sometimes I don't. But the reward and punishment uh, uh, um, um, component works real well with them. However, I do believe that with human beings, you have to um, either present natural and logical consequences for their behavior. Because what happens is, you know, as, as people, human beings, we get mad when somebody try to tell us something to do or try to, a lot of us, we don't take criticism very well. We don't take, um, advice very well. Of course, I don't mean all, but a vast majority of us, and especially in my community. So what happens is you need to understand the difference between natural and logical consequences and uh, uh, versus a, a punishment and, and um, you know, forceful consequences. A lot of y'all don't think that that's necessary. But I believe that after being generationally beat the way we have physically, we've been beat so much that it's a, almost a natural response for us. You know, when our kids are out of hand, when they don't seem to listen, we seem like we got a natural instinct to beat their ass. And I contend that that comes from slavery because we have some of the brightest children that... Uh, you, that were ever created. And all you got to do is put a bunch of babies in a room together of uh, different ethnicities. And there's a lot that really are some, some, it, it does depend on the individual baby. Yes, it does. But there are a lot of um, a per high percentage of African American babies who are um, uh, uh, just a little bit more alert, should I say. OK, and there's no cut on uh, no disrespect to nobody else and nobody else's ethnicity. So. When we revisit the uh, natural and logical consequence concept. First of all, number one. Reward and punishment um, denies the child the opportunity to make their own decisions. And to be responsible for their own behavior. So if you want to empower your kid to make him the best he can be and give him the best self-esteem, because that's what he needs out here, especially being from where we come from. OK, you have to start him off early as, um, in my opinion, not beating him into submission. And like I said, that's what dogs do. 
Um, you don't honor the, the, the alpha female, she'll make you submit. And until you lay down and submit, she'll go on about her business. And I wish human beings can be just as direct. Um, but a lot of times we make excuses. And a lot of times we don't know the difference. And in my opinion, uh, we come, we become violent because that's the only thing we know. And a lot of us had to work ourselves out of that. I too, I was beaten. So I, I get it. Um, <laughs> that's just something as black folks, we did. Ironing cords. Um, I never had too much of a switch beating. My mom used the ironing cord. So a lot of us do what we know or what was done to us. And um, but I don't think that that right there is a good way to teach anybody a lesson. All it does is serve to make them angry with you. And you may not know it, but they'll go back to their room and in their mind, they'll be thinking, damn, I wish you'd fall down some damn stairs. You know, really. Uh, natural and logical consequences re require children be responsible for their own behavior. And you can try this on some adults that's real immature, too. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of us are very immature, um, especially if we've been abused. abused and um, we might find ourselves uh, advanced in a lot of areas, but pretty childish and immature in a lot of ways. And those are the things that I had to even tackle myself once relive, um, uh, uh, leaving an, uh, an environment like show business. Studio work has afforded me the opportunity to be real honest with myself. And it's not pretty, everything that I see in, about myself. And I have to be willing to go there and deal with it. Okay? Um, and be able to deal with the natural consequences. So the energy I put out in the universe is the energy I know will come back to me. And, and that's what I know so far. Natural consequences are those which permit children to learn from natural order of the physical world. For example, um, uh, not eating was, is going to be followed by you being hungry. There's a lot of children that, you know, they don't want to eat, okay? And um, I don't want to eat because they're mad. I don't want it. I don't want it. And as parents, you okay, okay. And you cater to that um, child's um, request. But then 20 minutes later, when you get into the middle of writing a letter or 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, then this kid wants to eat. Now he wants the sandwich. And you oblige him or her. That's not something I would do. I would say, well, uh, when it was time for you to eat, you didn't want to eat and you were angry. OK. And because you were angry, you didn't you made a decision that you really didn't want. So now I'm not getting ready to get up and give you this sandwich because I'm busy. Now, I may do it whatever you decide. Fifteen minutes from now, I may do it 30 minutes from now, uh, an hour from now. It depends on the age of the kid. But the bottom line is to allow the child's uh, thought process to dictate whatever consequence is going to come behind that. And you got to let that happen. Or the adult at that point. Um, logical consequences are those which permit children to learn from the reality of the social world. For example... Children who not get up on time may be late to school and have to make up that work. Now, I know within reason you can do this because now that they criminalize parents' behavior and children and they tied it into um, our survival, I know we have to be very careful with that. Okay? But it's still a reality. If that child is late, then they need to be able to tell the uh, teacher and feel the, the the consequence of I got up late this morning and or my mother woke me up and I pussyfooted around. I didn't do X, Y, Z. And that's why I was late. And somehow let the responsibility and the ownership be right back on them. 
uh, for consequences to be affected, the 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 child involved has got to see that that the the situation is uh, logical. <laughs> you know, it, it's got to make sense to the child because he's the one that's participating in it too. He can't sit there and be saying my parent crazy in his mind like that. Don't make no sense. The purpose of using natural and logical consequences is to motivate children to make responsible decisions, not to force their submission. That's what the dog does. I'm bored in the dog right now. And because I don't want her to go back home with a bunch of um, scrapes on her and stuff, but I've observed the behavior and she submits right away to her mother. Whereas uh, I got another puppy here who gives her mother a hard time. And every time they go out and run in the morning, the mother has to put her down if she can catch her. And the mother will wait until she can catch her because she wants to put that puppy in submissive posture to let her know you're being disrespectful or I don't like how you acted. And so if you have another alpha pet, you will be able to see the conflict. Okay? But... That's how it is naturally in the animal kingdom, at least with dogs. Natural consequences. You know, consequences are effective only if you avoid having hidden motives of winning and being in control. Give the power back on. Give the power back to your kid. What what can it hurt them? All, all they can do is, is empower them. Make them strong. Make them solid. Okay.